Hi everyone and welcome back. We have something a little bit exciting today. We are doing a swimwear review instead of activewear. Um, I've been asked a couple of times for a swimwear review so it's finally time that I do one. We are looking at Buff Bunny Swim and I did get a few things from their old collection and the newer collection. So we've got a little bit of a mix of things. I will say it's a brand of swimwear that I hadn't looked at really before because price-wise once it's converted it's quite expensive for swimwear in my opinion. So I did buy all of this while it's been on sale. Um, but I'm also not someone who goes swimming a lot. So I think we'll start with the older collection stuff first and then we'll move into the newer collection and check those out. I've got a couple of one pieces and a couple of bikinis. So we'll start with a couple of the one pieces and see how they are first. I did get everything in an extra small. Okay, so the first one we got is called That's A Wrap One Piece. So it's in the palm green colour, which obviously I like green. I've just realised it's got ties and my cat is at the bottom here trying to attack them. Um, but yeah, so it's a simple looking front for the one piece. And then it is, I'm going to get a claw in the knee in a minute, a open back and then the strappy ties which wrap around. These do have removable cup pads in them as well. And it feels like a nice swimwear fabric. So I think we're just going to go ahead, try it on. I'm going to figure out how these straps wrap and I'll be back. Okay. So, swimsuit is on. I have chucked my hair up because it's just getting in the way with all the straps and stuff. Um, cup pads definitely make it all lumpy and bumpy. They just, they seem too small for this top. Um, I think I could have potentially sized up. It is, I'm just gonna do this because it's a little bit of a camel toe situation going on. But it is quite a high rise on the hip and it's a bit of a um, cheeky cut for the bum but it's not like a thong, it's just a, a cheeky cut so you got a little bit on show but not everything. Um, but yeah it is a higher cut than what I'm used to. I love the colour, it feels really nice on even though I think it is definitely smidge too small it's still comfortable like it doesn't feel like it's digging in anywhere so you can see the back as well it's got the straps that go over your head but also around your shoulders so they stay in place and then you got the little tie that wraps around the body and helps hold everything in a little bit as well not not a bad start I actually really like the design of this it's a really cute one piece um and yes i have turned the camera because i thought just in case some of these like the bottom halves might be a little bit cheeky i don't want anybody seeing in the mirror behind so i thought ahead sorry okay so the next one we're going to look at is another one piece so this is the are you okay um the Lux leisure in the onyx black that <laughs> looks tiny um, maybe I need to size up in their swimwear altogether by the looks of this one hopefully it's a little bit stretchier or it just sits a bit lower up top because that does not look like it's gonna reach um, but as you can see it's got a deeper V cut in the front it does then have a little belt around the middle um, cut pads that are also removable and then the back is just a more simple back with just the belt going around as well 
and the little swimwear logo so it's the same on the first one as well you got like these little bar sewn on logos so I'm gonna try this one on and see if this one fits um okay so next one is on I did have a look at the photos for this one and the first one because I was thinking man I've stuffed up my sizing um, but no, that's how they look in the photos. I'm just not comfortable with how high up in places they go. Because um, I didn't pay that much attention when I was ordering them. I just went, oh, that looks cute. Um, I don't think this one's for me. Top half, not too bad. Like, I know, the straps don't feel like they're sitting where I want them. Like, it's trying to roll, so it's just not sitting flat. Um, but top half, you can see, like, it's it's got the belt, it's low cut, but it's not slipping around, like, I don't feel like I'm going to fall out. It's got the one little strap there as a little detail, so that's cute. Um, but I thought the last one came up quite high. Um, nope, nope. This is a whole nother level of high. Like, it's definitely trying to go up places, which I'm not comfortable with. Like, don't get me wrong, the high cut look can really suit some people. I, I don't know, for swim, I don't feel like I'm comfortable going out swimming in something like this. Um, and the other one was a cheeky bottom. This one's a, as you can see, it's just getting higher. It's... I, I can't I can't show you more than the side. I don't think this one's for me. It's like right up in places. Even if I sized up, I don't think that was gonna fix that problem. It's more like a thong on this swimsuit. The other one I could wear. The other one was comfortable. I didn't feel like I was gonna fall out or it was going to expose anything. Um, this one, maybe if I had like a, a backyard swimming pool I'd be happy to swim in this but not not out in public not in this one so moving on we're going to go and have a look at the first two-piece it's not a matching two-piece though because being the sale lot we're kind of selling out so it's probably not a bad thing because I get to try two different parts of a two-piece set so this next one is the twisted top in mojito. It's just a nice light green, like kind of nearly a sage green top. It does have a loose thread, um, but as you can see, it's got the tie in the middle. It looks like it's got removable cup pads. This one is more of a shiny, slippery fabric compared well, this one's also a bit of a shiny fabric, but this one feels a little bit more slick than this fabric. The first one, first one was nearly like a brushed fabric. It was actually quite nice and soft, but we're going to try this top on and see if this fits a little bit better than what the one pieces have been. Um, okay, so let me put that over the back. So this is the twisted top on. This now feels like the opposite to the first two. Like this feels loose. Like there is no support. It just kind of looks a bit uh, fr frumpy. Is that the word? Like, I don't know. It's just not a very flattering top in my opinion. Like it's still cute, but I don't know. It just feels maybe because it is too loose. It's just it doesn't feel like it fits very nice. And then the back is just a really simple, kind of like a sports bra back on this one. Um, the cup pads also do not fit again in this one. They're very small and you can see them, but it's a very thin fabric and I don't know how well this color would go getting wet being so thin. So yeah, this top is, it's not terrible, but it could be better. All right, and the bottoms I got are the surfer bottoms in the onyx, so in the black. So these are what 
I think will be complete opposite to the one pieces. This should be a full coverage bottom. Um, they're kind of like shorts, but kind of nearly like a bikini cut at the same time. So very short shorts. So we'll see how much coverage these actually give. I got the little logo on the top of the waistband. It feels like the same fabric as the black one piece as well. So we'll try these ones on. So these are cute. Like if you're not somebody who wants very revealing swimwear, these bottoms are a much better choice, a more full coverage choice. I think with a different top, these would look a little bit cuter as well. But yeah, these fit, they don't feel too tight, they don't feel too loose. And then they are definitely a full coverage in the back. Like they're still only just covering the cheeks, um, but compared to the last couple that we've tried, a lot more full coverage. I think these are a very simple bikini bottom. That was the last of the old collection, so now we're going to be moving into what is the newer collection, which will soon become their old, because I'm sure they're going to release new swimwear again soon. Um, but this is the Santorini bikini top, again in the black. Um, this can actually be worn so many different ways. So I'm going to pop it on and see how it looks. This is one of the ways you can wear it. Um, I don't know if it's my favourite way, but apparently that was an in thing. But a lot of people were doing it with just normal bikini tops. I don't know, it just makes me feel like it lengthens your chest outwards. I don't know. Either way, so top is on. I've put the thin string up the top, the thicker one, then round the back and it fits quite well. I do kind of feel like I'm going to fall out of it in this position so I might try it in another way in a minute to see if that's better. Um, it does have removable cup pads as well which is a good thing but this one doesn't seem like there is noticeable. I actually like it like that tied in the middle with the thicker strap and then it's got the thinner straps round the neck and round the back. It took me a minute to figure out what way to put it on to get it to tie in the front like that. Um, and you could do it in a bow or you could let it kind of hang more like a ribbon. Like, I don't know how many different variations for this top there was, but I like it. You can make it look like you're wearing a different bikini without actually having to buy 50 of them. Next item is something I've never actually bought anything like it before. It's a cover up. So these are the Odyssey Mesh Pants in the terracotta colour. So this is a really nice, it's picking up a bit brighter on camera, but it's more like a pinky burgundy red type colour. Um, so if you are got to go between places, like if you're going to the beach, but you don't want to just wear your swimwear and need something to throw on over it, these pants could be perfect. They are, yes, completely mesh, so you probably can't wear them anywhere else other than a swimsuit cover-up. But they are really cute. They got a little tie front to give it like a bit of a sarong look. And then on the bottoms, it's got some ties at the ankle so you can adjust the length and how they look at the bottom as well. So, as you can see, sh I was going to say shorts, pants on, they got little tie around the waist which is really cute and yes they are completely see-through so whatever you're wearing underneath you will see it through these pants. Um, at the moment I've just got them full length. Don't mind my socks. <laughs> um, so they are a really nice length like they they will drag slightly for someone if you're a little bit shorter like they are touching the ground slightly dragging for me but you can tie the bottom to help it so it doesn't drag along and you can adjust where on your leg you want that to sit so yeah uh, these are just a really cute simple cover-up I really like these 
and it's a stretchy mesh so it doesn't feel tight and restricting like you can easily move around with these and it's really nice with the high waist as well okay we have one more swimsuit to look at and it is a one piece from the new collection so this is the venetian one piece and i also got it in the terracotta color because i am really liking this color so this is a very soft fabric and it is a ribbed fabric as well you can have it as a one shoulder or it has a strap that's adjustable like a bra strap which you can remove if you want to it does have removable cup pads and then you can see it's kind of hanging a bit funny because it has a cut out in the middle from the top to the bottom which also has a tie to hold it up and these are what I think are a little bit more of a full coverage on the bottom as well so we're going to try it on and see how this one fits. Alright, so this is the last one on. It has the removable cup pads, but they've moved around a little bit in the top. Um, Size-wise, it actually fits. This is perfect sizing. So I think between the first and second collections, they have fixed the sizing a little bit more. This fabric is so soft. It is very comfortable and... It's just a very nice swimsuit. I did adjust the strap on this side so it fit a little bit better. So now it's probably a little bit too tight. I went too far with it. Um, but I think even without that, it will definitely stay up because this is quite nice and fitted on the other side. It is a nice coverage as well. It's not too high cut and it's definitely a lot more of a full coverage on the back as well and you can see how it kind of crosses over on the back too this did come in a few different designs where it had some pattern with block color and stuff like that too but i think i am quite happy um i didn't know how to tie this very nicely so it's kind of just hanging there at the moment um but yeah as you can see it fits it's a really nice color as well Definitely more like on the pink side than the red, which from what I can see in the camera is looking a lot more red. But yeah, I actually quite like this swimsuit as well. I think the biggest one that I didn't like was the black one piece and the green bikini top. They're the two that let this down a little bit. Um, but I am also very glad that I bought them on sale because I would have been a little bit upset if I paid full price for some of those. I think if you had to pick something, the, the Santorini top that you can tie all different ways because you can get multiple wears out of this with it looking different. This, the Venetian one piece because they had a few different designs. So if this pinky terracotta color isn't your color they had some other designs and more patterns as well um, and then if you're looking for a nice cover-up the pants or they also do them in a sarong in the mesh as well again in all different colors so I think Buff Bunny has definitely improved their swimwear in the second collection so I think so let me know in the comments if you liked anything that I tried today. Also let me know if there was something you absolutely hated. Um, and let me know if there's other swimwear brands that you would like me to try if you did enjoy my swimwear. If not, I will stick to activewear because, I mean, I'm not going to wear swimwear very often. Don't forget to like the video if you did enjoy it and subscribe if you haven't already and don't want to miss out on future videos. But yeah. So that's it and I will see you next time. Bye guys.